true. My life's kind of boring, also true. but I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas number six. This is crazy. It's going by, it's halfway done. That's wild. I just finished getting showered and getting ready and styling my bangs for the first time and I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna like play around with it. I don't know if I like it with the curls, but we're just gonna keep trucking on because I have to head in the car and go drive down to San Diego. I'm so excited. I'm staying with my friend Sierra, Sierra Schulte on YouTube. If you haven't heard of her before somehow, she's been a dear friend of mine for several years now. And every time we have tried to catch up in recent months, either like I've gotten sick, she's gotten sick, something has come up. So I'm so excited to drive down there. I haven't been down to San Diego since like probably 2021 when we filmed our Taylor Swift videos together. So it's gonna be so fun. I can't wait to see Grace and catch up with Steven as well. I'm so sad that Drew's not coming. We were supposed to go together and unfortunately he got whatever I had last week and he's just not feeling well enough to go. So it's gonna be like a little girl's trip. I actually need to get going. I'm wearing kind of like a very millennial outfit of the day and I kind of love that. So here it is. I have on this pink and white little fluffy sweater that I got from Target and it's just like so fuzzy and comfortable, nice and loose. And then I have on this white skirt from Old Navy. This is the white version of the black one that I always wear and it's actually like an athletic skirt But it's just so comfortable to wear as a regular skirt and like the shorts are actually long enough for me Which is rare with skirts and then I have my cute little lacy socks with my converse and that's my OOTD Had to throw up the peace sign. Let's go millennials. I'm gonna grab some sunglasses and my keys I've got my bag all packed. I have a water for the road. I should probably get some snacks. I might have to stop on the way, we'll see. I don't even know what my gas situation is like. I made sure to pack all my electronics. I'm staying just for the night. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Um, I have Grace's present in here, my pajamas, like some leggings to wear in the car tomorrow, and that's pretty much it. This bag we got at Primark when we were in the UK because we got so much stuff, like food. <laughs> we had to bring it back with us, and it's very compact, but it fits a lot in there, so I'm excited. So anyways, let's hit the road. and freaking drive down to San Diego. For a lot of people who are like, why don't you and Sierra see each other more? We live two and a half hours away from each other. That's just California. That's Southern California for you. You can be so far away, but it seems like you're really close. So anyways, we're gonna head in the car and hit the road. I'm so excited. I just had the most like unnecessary <laughs> Chaos. I was trying to stop and pee. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to stop and pee and I pulled into one gas station There was not a single bathroom pulled into a second gas station I was like, oh, there's an inside. There's probably a bathroom went inside to get some snacks And when I went to pay at the register, I was like, do you have a restroom? And she was like, no I was like, why did I think that they had a restroom? So I was like, okay, there's a Ralph's next door So I'll go to the Ralph's went into the Ralph's walked to the restroom there You have to have a code so you have to like buy something in order to use the restroom And I was just like, oh my god, so then I went and bought a water bottle <laughs> And then I paid and I was like, do you have the restroom code? They're like, oh, you don't need a code. You just pull on the door. Ah! So anyways, I finally peed. I have enough water for days. I randomly got snacks at the gas station. So we're going to try these out. I got cheese and peanut butter crackers. That's like the superior Keebler combo. And then I also decided to try this Rice Krispies dunked chocolatey marshmallow. I'm not going to eat this whole thing, but I'll snack on it while I continue listening to Taylor Swift. I'm a little more than halfway there. It's taking a really long time. I, I guess I just always forget that when I drive to San Diego, it's like over a hundred miles away. And like, I always just think, oh, it's just going to be a quick little pop down the freeway. No, it's literally so far, but there is no limit to the m amount of miles that I would drive to see my friends. So I'm very, very excited. We got to hit the road because now I'm running late again. <laughs> reunited again i've already um caused chaos in her kitchen spilling things <laughs> knocking things over almost broke her camera <laughs> oh my god you have to watch sierra's vlog and see the cutest thing that grace said i was like girls day and she goes no boys <laughs> i was like i didn't even teach her that she's so a that girl's was, girl yeah absolutely is grace girl. is for the girlies so um we're gonna go ahead and get some food i think some mexican food and then maybe go down to the beach because grace remembered the last time or one of the times that we were together 
we chased seagulls on the beach and so she's been like having Sierra text me like I'm excited to chase birds with you I want to go chase birds with you so the girl's gonna get what she wants we're so, gonna chase some yeah, birds that's what we're gonna do <laughs> also forgot to show this little flower Grace and Sierra were literally waiting in the driveway for me when I got here and they had a flower to give to me it was the cutest thing ever we're at a little Mexican girls day date aren't we yeah. What did you? Oh, um, earlier we were talking about how me and Grace both have blonde hair and blue eyes, and then she goes, "Blue eyes." <laughs> she said she wants to be like Carrie. Oh, that was so <laughs> cute. She did say that. Can we do another cheers? Um, so the mess us. I'm, I'm busy right now. What? She's. I'm busy right now. <laughs> I'll do a cheers for Thanks. you, Carrie. Cheers. cheers. I'm not too busy right now. <laughs> I love that so much, and I am also deeply humbled. Who's the annoying person who ordered the sizzling fajitas? <laughs> to, to be fair, be fair from this not... angle, literally it looks like it's on fire. Like, it's just, I think because of like the time of right, day, the it literally looks in. like you're on fire. <laughs> I understand her concern. Grace was looking Sierra at it like, uh... Sierra <laughs> got some fajitas, I got a chicken taco, and Grace has her bean burrito. And it's good. <laughs> so cute. You could make Carrie some pretend mac and cheese with your fork. Yeah. You gonna make me something? So here, you could use this napkin. Ask her what she would like to eat. Oh, um, can I please have a chocolate cake? Why? Because it's yummy. Oh, I don't have to. Oh, how about, um, can I please have a chocolate chip cookie? Oh, you have ice cream? What flavors do you have? What color? Yellow? a game at Grace's request where the water chases us now. Oh no! <laughs> I made a rookie mistake and I had my back facing the water. <laughs> My shoes got soaking wet, but it's alright. It's not too bad. <laughs> so. I have truly enjoyed this day already so much and it's literally only like 3 p.m. 4 p.m. something like that The sun goes down very very early these days in California But it's like the sound of the waves and just I am just such an ocean girly Drew is definitely like a mountains guy um, You'll have to let me know in the comments what you are But I just like feel my most rounded self when I'm at the ocean I'm just I'm an earth sign through and through and I'm just so happy to be here The bangs are 
getting on my nerves today but um you'll have to let me know your styling suggestions in the comments i actually find that it looks like way cuter when my hair is up so i'll have to find some cute like updos and styles to wear but i still like it like looking at the viewfinder now i'm like okay actually it's cute anyways no one cares we have just been enjoying some beach time playing with grace chasing the birds chasing the waves getting a little wet unintentionally and now we're gonna head back to the house i think the plan is to watch the polar express make some hot chocolate and of course get the hot tub well it's a warm tub because sierra's pregnant but uh, so happy to be here All right, we're home from the beach. Just changed into my bathing suit, which I actually haven't worn this one before. So this is my first time. I'll show it in a second, but we're gonna hop in the hot tub. Like I said, it's a warm tub. It's like not exactly hot. So that's fine with me. I get overheated in hot tubs anyway, so I'm good with that. I thought there was a full length mirror in here, but I guess there's not. So here, I'll show you my little, my little bathing suit action. So this is my bathing suit. This is from Lisa Says Ga, and I got it over the summertime when it was on sale, and it's really cute. It has this really cute print with like fruit and cheese and like I think sardines and things like that it's just like a very summery kind of bathing suit and then it has like the little crossover strap in the front you can also do it just as a halter if you want and then it just has like a scoop back I'm not gonna show you the back of that but it's so cute so I'm excited to go down into the hot tub I think we're gonna do more of like a chill night in we were gonna go out and watch Christmas lights and all that kind of stuff like look at Christmas lights but I think we're just gonna chill and drink some hot cocoa watch a movie you know spend some just like chill time at home I am definitely leaning more towards that especially because we've all just gotten over getting sick we don't want to like push it you know so Anyways, I'm liking the little clip with the bangs. I think this is cute. I think this is definitely like my favorite little style so far. So we will have to keep playing around with it. But in the meantime, let's go in the hot tub. Two hours later. Look at that. We're out of the hot tub. It was so lovely. We were in there for a bit and it was amazing. And now we're watching the Polar Express and it's at the part where they make hot chocolate. So we're naturally making hot chocolate, right Grace? Woohoo! Because we're having girls' night. Girls' night, no boys' night. That's what she kept saying earlier. It was amazing. So we're gonna make some hot chocolate and we also ordered some food because, duh. Hot chocolate time, baby. Let's see it. Okay, tell me when to stop. Go. Go. Stop. <laughs> Carrie, you tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. And for me, and then we should we do some sprinkles? Okay, the sprinkles do make it prettier. They do make it very pretty. Hot chocolate spike oh, rice. Each one. Cheers, 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 cheers. Delicious. We are watching the hot chocolate scene for now the fourth time? Fifth time? One, four, one, four time. It's delicious. Well, she also wants to make sure you see the part of Rapunzel where Mother Gothel dies, so. That is true, that was a big request yes. of hers. So, so we're, we're definitely gonna need to get to that, yeah. yeah. And now our yeah, food's here. Life is but a dream. Many hours later. Did I tell my vlog? I don't think so. Okay. Sometimes I like, when we're together, I'll think that I've filmed stuff and then I'll go back Same. and I'm like, wait, I'm no, like, I didn't. Oh, that was not but I don't want it to be too repetitive, you know? Okay, so um, obviously Drew isn't here because he's been sick and Grace has really expressed great concern that Drew is sick and he doesn't feel good and she's asked me like over and over again like he's is he sick and I'm like yeah he's sick so somehow she was playing and he, handed he, me this paper he's towel sick. he's sick yeah How did we get soup? oh and then she made him soup yes Here. so um she had ma uh, handed me this paper towel earlier which was her mac and cheese napkin from dinner and said this is your boyfriend Drew and I was like oh okay and then it just became this whole like He's sick, he doesn't feel good, we gotta take care of him. And so Sierra drew a face. I'm literally not joking for the last like hour. Yeah, this has been This has been the game. Been it's been what we've been playing. And I've had to be Drew at various points, like act out. Um, we've had to put him to bed, make him soup. He took a bath. He needs to go to bed. He needs to go to bed. Okay, let's put him to bed. He needs to eat. Oh, he needs to eat. Got it, got it, got it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you make the soup? How do you make this the is soup? Oh, gotta make the soup. Oh, I need to help you make yeah, the soup. Yeah. I thought you already made it. Help me. That's what's so great about soup is you make a big old pot of it and then yep, it's and just it's good for days. Sit, sit. <laughs> Sitting. Sit here. Oh, sit here. Got it. Ready? 
I'm ready. There it is, the soup on the plate, of course. Amazing. Thank you, Grace. I said when when she sees Drew, she's gonna be like, you're not Drew. <laughs> you're not a paper towel. But you know when you're ready for night night. Perfect. <laughs> and Sierra said that like, this is gonna be a thing now. Like. Six months from now, she's gonna be like, Drew was sick. <laughs> like, so remember good. when Drew was sick? So cute. Sweetest thing ever. So this is her new favorite toy, which is a paper towel, which is my boyfriend, Drew. Mm -hmm. Night, night, Drew. Night, night, Drew. Okay, time to go to bed again? Yeah. Okay, let's put him to bed. Nighty night. See the Earlier, thing? She said night, night, and she went. <laughs> the thing is, we're gonna spend all this money on Christmas gifts, and all she really wants is a paper towel named Drew. It is many hours later. It's so late, the Christmas tree turned off. <laughs> we, literally, I, as we were talking, I was like, oh, that's how you know. Yeah. We've literally been sitting down here for like four hours, <laughs> just talking. That's like the best nights, it you is. know what I mean? It's like the times where you just talk about every little topic in detail. There's truly nothing better than just like chatting with the girlies, so. We're um we're almost at midnight, I think. Eleven thirty. Look at us. That's late for us. Who would for me? I go to bed at like nine o'clock. So this is fantastic. We're gonna go to bed and probably continue it in the morning. <laughs> yes. It's been the best. It's been so good. Good morning, everybody. I slept fantastic last night. I was so cozy. I actually left the window cracked open and I had a fan on in here because I'm unhinged like that. Like I love a frigid freezing cold room and I was truly living my best life. <laughs> I'm so happy. But it's about 8 a.m. right now. I'm just getting ready, packed up, made my bed, folded the towels, everything like that. And I am going to hit the road pretty soon to head back to LA. I want to avoid any kind of traffic and also I have a ton of stuff to do when I get home. I need to just do my like Sunday things, you know? I think last weekend being sick, I just don't feel caught up like with laundry and groceries and all that kind of stuff. I just kind of want to do a reset. So that's what we're going to do when I head home. I'll probably stop at like a coffee shop and get some coffee breakfast on the way. We were going to like go out to breakfast this morning, but Sierra is going to hang out with some friends and I have a bunch of stuff to do. So it honestly worked out better. So yeah, I had just had such a lovely time and I hope you enjoyed seeing little bits and pieces pieces of it in the vlog. I feel like you can never actually capture like the essence of being with someone when you're vlogging. You can just get like little bits and pieces, but I'm just so grateful for Sierra and her friendship and just her family. I love them so much. They're all so lovely and I had the best time and I can't wait to come back with Drew probably in January, I would imagine, like after the holidays and stuff. We're definitely going to plan something fun. So Sierra, if you're watching this, I love you. Thank you so much for having me. You're a wonderful host as always. She's just an absolute icon and a legend, a living legend. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna get the rest of my stuff together and we're gonna head downstairs Hang out for a few more minutes and then hit the road And yes, I am wearing the same sweatshirt as last night because I didn't pack anything else But I do have different pants on so there you go the same socks. I will admit definitely the same socks Would you look at that? I came downstairs <laughs> And breakfast was being made for me She's already uploading her vlog, miss. She's literally killing it. So I'm just sitting here. I was like, do you need help? She goes, no, just sit down. So I said, yeah. okay. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy it. Welcome to uh, the Schultzy brunch. <laughs> we aim to please. Come here, Curly Pops. Come here. Come here. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. My sweet little friend. Here's my glorious pancake. Look at this feast. Syrup. The, yeah, as or as Grace referred to it as sauce. sauce. She said, "I need sauce." You want I sauce? I love sauce. I love sauce. You love sauce. Delicious. Oh. Sierra and I are corn syrup girlies through and through. Don't come for us. It is time. It's time. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, little friends, all of you. We had such a lovely time. Make sure that you subscribe to Sierra's oh. Vlogmas if you haven't already. She will be posting hers, I think, like, day after tomorrow. Yeah. We're on, like, a different schedule. But anyways, um, the best time, as always. Definitely look out for more content between us in yes. 2024. We've already talked about it. And I will see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Ooh, where is she going? Your hair is always the drama, huh? I didn't do it. It's so frizzy right now. All right, I'm home. With the sickie. She's making I can't me wait do this. To... <laughs> Help right. me. He was like, I want to do admin. <laughs> um, starting to feel a little better, right? Yeah.
Yeah, a little bit. But I can't wait to show you all the footage of Grace making paper towel <laughs> version of you. It's gonna be so cute. Yeah, I wanna see that. It's so cute. All right, so we're gonna do our advent to end this off. Yeah, this is like very strong. We ordered some Alfred, cause don't judge us, okay? You were sick, mm -hmm. and then I'm sick. We just didn't have a great. We're gonna get. I wanna go back to Trader Joe's so bad. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do like a Trader Joe's moment when you're feeling better and just order groceries and stuff. Anyways, it's time for our advent calendars. First one is the Bomb Amon Jam calendar, and this is my favorite. Yeah. So we're doing. I think it's 10 and 11, or 11 and 12. 11 and 12. Okay. Ooh, apricot lavender. Oh, I better taste lavender. I better taste that lavender, or else. I mean, I feel like lavender is like a pretty strong flavor. I'm oh, sorry, you can hear our laundry in the background. I feel like I maybe do smell lavender. Gosh, I can't smell anything. Oh no! No, you're not gonna be able to taste. It. Oh no! Number twelve. <laughs> Ooh, like berries. What did it say? Wild blueberry balsam leaf spread. Wait, so does it smell, smell like, like Christmas? Christmas? Oh. oh, they just smell the same. Oh no. I don't I don't know if I smell balsam leaf, but either way I'm excited. So here we go. I love any kind of like anything apricot flavored. Do you say apricot or apricot? Oops, I don't know why great. apricot sounds so weird to me. I apricot? think I say apricot. Apricot. All the kids who apricot. grew up as YouTube kids yes. remember the Cunningham muffins. Oh. Yeah. Apricot. <laughs> oh, she's very, very lifty. Yeah, some of them are um, like way more solid than others. Like they have more gelatin in them or something. More pectin. First up is apricot. Apricot. Cheers. Cheers. I can't taste lavender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really good. That's one of the best ones. In it my just opinion. tastes like a sweet. I don't. I guess I can't taste it. I don't know if I can. I can just taste fruitiness. It's like sweet, sweet yeah. lavender. Fruit and like lavender. Yeah, there's which is like a fruity. Yeah, really good. Okay, I'm gonna okay. spread this around. What is this one again? Blueberry balsam leaf. Blueberry balsam. Blueberry, blueberry balls, blue balls. Blue balls. Cheers. Cheers. Sometimes I feel like with these, I don't have a refined enough palate and I'm just like, yeah, it tastes good. Like, it tastes like berry, like blueberry. Mm -hmm. But there is a flavor. Yeah, there is something but else. I, I don't think I've ever had balsam. Like I've never, right. what does that taste like? Christmas tree. Exactly. Pretty good though. I'm gonna give both of those like an eight out of 10. How about you? Yeah, I do like the lavender one a lot. Mm -hmm. I just really like lavender. Nice. Okay, time for C's candy. There were some C's oh, candy yay. stands in the comments that were saying that I was slendering C's candy and I do apologize. We'll do better. But sorry. this is not my favorite advent calendar. There are like things slipping out and breaking like, sorry, this is from another day, but I think this might've been from my, it's fine. All right, when next we're doing, I think that was left over from my last one. Here's 12. Oh, right. Ooh, Ooh it's, it's tall. You get another sucker. It's like very long. No, it's a lollipop. Probably. Yep. It's the same lollipop. She's stuck. I feel like Bomba Mod just set like a like an unrealistic expectation Every because different. it's 24 different flavors. Whereas this, I, I'm only on day 11 and I've already gotten like a few repeats. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, 12. Like, there's no like brittle. More chocolate. There's no like. Seas has so many different types they have, like, of like. truffles and I'm getting milk chocolate well, that's like a, every that's other a day. Color. Maybe it's filled. Maybe it's filled with something. Is it solid again? It's solid. No. See, okay. This is solid, solid chocolate. Ooh! Yeah, this is not. I'm sorry. I'm not slandering C's candy <laughs> as in they have good stuff. Some of it. But this I is, want the truffle. This ain't their best. You remember, yeah. You remember the truffle that was cho chocolate 
covered, and then it had chocolate sprinkles on it. You're gonna get duplicates the entire time. Uh, well, it was okay. All right, now to finish it I'm off, we have I'm 30 days of Japan. I was he also opened them while I was gone. He goes, I had nothing to do, I he left me. Lord, <laughs> idle hands. I don't even, oh, I think I'm on 17. Oh, okay. I was hoping one of, because they were like little ones, and I was like, I was really hoping for like something salty. Okay, oh, cats. Mm. I mean, they're not salty, but. Oh my god, you get like four of them. Holy moly, what flavor are these? Um, this is. They're all the same. <gasps> oh, is it just strawberry? Is it strawberry? Oh my god, these are my favorite. Yes! <laughs> it takes me right back to being in Japan. Josh and Noel bought a pack of these. The and they were sharing them. Ichigo. Oh my god, they're so good. This makes up for the. There you go. Thank you. I'm opening one more. Oh <laughs> my god. Somebody stop him. Oh. I got a little Oh, a Daruma? Daruma. Daruma. It's a little paper doll. They're different colors, so they mean mm. different things. So I have to look up what white means. But you make a wish or like a, something you want to fulfill in the coming year. You fill in one eye, and when you fulfill that wish or um, goal, you color in the other eye. So you have a whole year to do it, basically. That's so cool. And, and then, then you burn it afterwards? Yeah, so then you burn it because I think it, it, it traps in like the good fortune, good luck. So when you burn it, it releases it back out to the world. Mm -hmm. And also, like if you didn't fulfill it, then it's like putting that back out into the, the world. My mom still does have the one you got her in Japan in like 2017. <laughs> Anywho, that's gonna do it for Vlogmas number six. We're halfway there. Oh, we're halfway there. Was that the song that, was that my song? My number one hit when I was born? I, uh, no, yours was Dead or Alive, Wanted Dead or Alive, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. A fun thing to do when you're like with a group of people, you should have everyone Google what song was number one the day they were born and like see yeah. if you know it. Mine was Faith. Yeah, George by George Michael, Michael, I think, and then yours was Dead or Alive. Wanted Dead or Alive, or Bon Jovi. I'm pretty sure it was Dead or Alive. It's a fun little social thing to do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out with me when I went to San Diego and back. I had so so much fun. Thank you again to Sierra and Steven for having me. Oh, Bad Medicine. Oh, Bad Medicine got it. <laughs> it's still Bon Jovi. And we will um we will definitely go to San Diego together soon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave me here. FOMO. Anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.